What's up guys? It's Bye Bye here with another Rise of Kingdoms video. I got a few players asking me recently why I am using the buckle shell uh, in the conquering talent tree for my grand new talent tree. Uh, today, I will explain to you guys why with a very very simple test. Uh, so for this test, I will not be using grand new, obviously. <laughs> I will be using Mermaid. Uh, because I have uh, some free talent points on him that I can use it to test without using a reset scroll. Uh, sorry guys, I, I do not have unlimited reset scroll yet to use on any commander. So I'll be testing with uh, Mermaid. So how would I be testing the Buckle Shell? Uh, so I will be running three different tests. Um, so uh, one second here. Let me get here. So how would I be testing the buckle shell here, right? So three different tests. Uh, the first test I run, there is no buckle shell. So this one was not there for the first test. This one was not there. Uh, this skill was not here either. So the first test, I I have a no stat boost whatsoever. So that is the first test with nothing. So I want I want to compare what's the damage I'm gonna take with with Zhao's buckle shell and with Zhao that uh, one percent. So you can get uh, in this one right here, you get 1% more defense. Uh, and for the second test, the second test I am running uh, with 1% defense. So the buckle shield is not there, but uh, I have a uh, two skill point in here to give it 1% defense. So why would I want to compare it with a 1% defense? Because some of the time tree for like infantry or Cavalry or Archer, you're getting that 1% uh, stat boost over here, right? If you're going back and look at um, Grand Duty Time Tree, right? You get that 1%, uh, so you, all the, here you get 1% here. Like for one skill point, you get 1% stat increase. And that is why I want to compare with like a 1% stat increase. Yeah. So that is the reason why. So the second test is I'm running with a 1% stat increase. Uh, and the last step is I am running with the buckle shell. Only one skill point in the buckle shell. So, so let's go right into the video here. Maybe you'll understand better. <laughs> I'm not the best to explain. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go to the video here side by side. So I have a three video running. So here on, on the left hand side here, right? So I said this one, it have a nothing, no stat boost whatsoever here. And this one, I get an actual 1% defense stat boost. And for this one right here, I'm getting that 3% counter attack damage uh, reduction from the buckle shell. So let's go and take a look at how much damage reduction that I can get from all three scenarios here. Oh, maybe a little too fast. Go back a little bit here. Okay, so we got three number here, right? So for the one with no stat boost or no buckle shield, I am taking 674 damages uh, from the normal attack. Uh, for the one with 1% defense, I am taking 670 damages only. So a four, four damage reduction right there from our 1% defense. For the buckle shield, I am taking only 660 damage, which is a 10% damage reduction compared to the 1% defense here. So like with that additional 3% counter attack damage reduction, I am taking 10 less damage. And with 1% defense, I am only taking four, right? Six, four. I am taking four less damage here with the 1% defense. So you can do the math there, right? So like 1% defense with four less damage, or 3% counter attack with a 10 less damage. And especially uh, the 3%, the, the percentage for the counter attack damage also scale with the number of damage, the, the percent of damage as well. The higher the damage, the better the percentage can work. So like it work, I would say it work a lot better as well when you go, when you're going against like a commander with a very, very high attack. So they can dish out a very, very high normal attack damage there. So that is something you keep in mind as well. So this is the reason why I am going with the buckle shield because of the damage. Because the, the damage reduction is much, much better, right? A 10, a 10 damage reduction here compared to a four damage reduction here with a 1% defense. And that is the reason why it is worth it for you 
to be honest, I always go for that Baku shield just because of the amount of damage reduction was so much better comparing to adding a uh, skill points to another stat boost there. So like if you have an option to go, for example, right? Uh, let me redo, remove all the marker here. <laughs> Uh, so if you have a if you have a, a commanders that have access to the conquering pantry, I would strongly recommend you to always go for that Baku shield because it's it reduced that nine percent counter attack damage taken. It's always there. Like anytime you get attacked, it's there, right? So it worked very very good. Like the one percent defense, even though it's uh take less damage, uh it reduces less damage when it comes to a normal attack. But it also, the defense also work against skill damage as well. So that is another thing you need to keep, take in consideration. But for me, uh, that 3% uh, counter attack damage definitely better than uh, a 1% defense. And that is the reason why uh, I am going with the buckle shield on my Grand U here. Anyway guys, I hope you guys find this video informative. Uh, thanks for watching.